So my first reaction to the director was, why the hell is this not Steven Spielberg? He didn't do the third one and it wasn't as good. Why can't we have him back for this one? But after watching it, I gotta hand it to you, Colin. Yeah, this is a good film. Well done. This is the film student here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Jurassic World. I have been trying to avoid all the hype on this film. I've been refusing to watch so many of the trailers. I have watched some of them, but I tried to avoid all of that. I've even avoided other people's reviews because I really wanted to not know very much about this and go and watch it. And I have finally watched it. And my response to this is, yeah, it's a good film. Not amazing, but it is good. So this film is set 22 years after Jurassic Park's events and the park is open. But the problem is that there is no longer enough people going so we must create a better dinosaur to create more customers. And like all the Jurassic Parks, this film basically shows that if you're playing God, it's not going to go well. So I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what happens next. If you for some reason can't, basically the dinosaur escapes. So to the positives, Chris Pratt makes a brilliant hero. The first scene which we see this guy in, he's with the uh, raptors. This scene is done brilliantly. It shows the relationship which he has with them, but it also shows the danger of these animals and how dangerous they can be if you make a mistake with them. Bryce Dallas Howard also makes a brilliant park owner. For her, it's just business. Everything is business for her. Sadly, doesn't know quite enough about these animals to know quite what she's doing. We also have in this film the two brothers. They are not quite as good. They're not terrible, they're just not quite as good. My main problem with them can be that they kind of felt like they were kind of just pushed onto this island just to add screen time. They weren't really meant to be there. But there is good things about them. They're both good actors. We need someone in the crowd, don't we, to make it so it's not just about the staff and this park feels real. Which is another good point. This park definitely feels real. This doesn't feel like it's been uh, made up and it doesn't feel like an actual business. No, this feels like a real business and they properly care about these animals. It's like just basically a very over-the-top zoo. And you know what's great? We have at the beginning that famous Jurassic Park sound. Yes, Jurassic Park is back! What's also interesting was there was reference to Jurassic Park. That was something which I wasn't expecting. But so this film in a way isn't really separate. It does relate. However, I am going to talk about a couple of the bad points now. There was too much CGI. Before you scream at me saying, of course we need CGI for dinosaurs. I know, I don't mind CGI for the dinosaurs. It was just there was also CGI on buildings. There was just too much of it. It didn't even look that bad, but it was just irritating because Steven Spielberg didn't use any CGI on buildings and to be honest he only used CGI on the dinosaurs when they were in wide shots. When they were close up they were something robotic. So yeah, CGI has improved, but to be honest, it's still CGI and it's still obvious that it isn't real. So if you don't need to include the CGI, don't. Do it! Steven Spielberg also kept the dinosaurs hidden. I mean, there's a shot of them at the beginning, but then they're not seen at all. They're not seen for ages until that T-Rex reveals itself. However, Jurassic World really didn't quite, on my point of view, reveal its dinosaur as well as Jurassic Park had done. This made the first 30 minutes a bit slow in a way because We'd already seen parts of the dinosaur, so why don't we just release the dinosaur rather than having a load of weird back dialogue which we don't really care about? <laughs> there is a good revealing of a dinosaur which I is near the end, and I'm not going to spoil what that is, but I just thought it was done really well. There is a lot of sub-stories in this film. And some of the sub-stories made me cringe, some of them I thought were alright, and other ones I thought, yeah, they're quite good. 
I'm not going to actually get into what they are because I don't want to make them spoilers or anything, but there's far too many sub-stories. Also, our hero Chris is not shown that much of the first half. He's shown a lot in the second half, but before that, no, we see other parts of it which just not quite, not on the same level. Also, we have a massive crowd at this island and it's very tense that this dinosaur is going to come and take them all down. There is about five to ten minutes of the whole crowd running all over the place, all in fear of these dinosaurs, and then they're gone. Why the hell did that happen? Where did the crowd go? But back to the good points. This film is a good film. It has some great chaos in it. And when it's happening, you are fully immersed in it. Instead of showing kind of what really is happening when these people get eaten, we sometimes have this point when it cuts to maybe another character and you just hear the cracking of someone being eaten away. In an audience head, that is going to be 10 times worse than what a 12 a could show on a screen. Not saying that it always does that, we have many points when there is literally just someone walking there and then the mouth will come and just go, and they're gone. And that's also pretty cool though. <laughs> All of the Jurassic Parks also have this great dinosaur battle which happens near the end. And I'm going to go out and say it, this is my favourite one. I was right on the edge of the, my seat when this battle happened. The action, the fear for other characters, the fear for some of the dinosaurs as well, because you actually care about some of the dinosaurs this time, which is brilliant. Wow. I won't say this is a massive on the edge of your seat film, because part of the times I was pretty relaxed in the cinema, I wasn't fully immersed in this film. And part of that might be because of these random moments of comedy. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to think of them, because I found them very entertaining and very funny. But they took me out of this film. I was no longer in as much fear for the characters because of them. So I'm going to let you guys decide whether or not you think that was actually a good thing or a bad thing. I sadly have to come up with a couple more problems because there were some, and mainly it's overshocked faces. It doesn't work like that. You're an actor. Look natural. Please. The brothers also seem to have basically a change of roles. One of them is smart at the beginning and the other one doesn't really care, doesn't really want to be there. And then as soon as they get into trouble then it kind of swaps and then the other one's suddenly smart and the other one's really scared. Now I am all for changing of roles. I think it's brilliant directing and I think it's great acting when it's done right but I couldn't believe that this really could happen like this. It is not as good as the original Jurassic Park. But Jurassic World is still a good movie. So it is definitely better than the third. So my rating of this is going to be... Actually guys I'm going to have to stop old me there because I don't believe that the score which he was going to give was correct. I'm going to give this a 3.5. I know that's the same thing which I gave Spooks, and I personally did prefer Jurassic World. However, there's so many flaws in this film that I cannot give it any better than 3.5. Anyway, back to Old Me. If you have any other views, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe.